Welcome to the Hanshaw's Horizon podcast, where we explore learning science and all the tools you need to create an amazing learning environment, to create that high performance learning environment. And today we're going to be diving in, we're going to be having a little bit of fun, and we're going to dive into the text to image within Canva and see how that works. Because I'm going to start making some shorts with some jokes, and I thought it'd be fun to do it with AI. So we're going to uh, create the AI bot that's going to look, uh, that we're going to look at. So it tells the jokes, and we're also going to write the jokes with uh, Bard, uh, ChatGPT, Copy AI, and several others out there to see which ones write the funniest jokes. So stay tuned for that. Today we're going to use Canva to create text to image images, if you will. So let's just kind of dive right in and start creating our bot. So as we look at this, let me get my face out of the way and over here to the corner. As we look, you just go down to apps and type in text to image. And here's text to image. We're going to put it here. I already have a, a, a canvas selected, if you will. So we're going to type in. So I want, this is going to be for an AI bot telling jokes, if you will. So just a picture of it. So just an image. So I want, um, and let's just, let's get particular with it. AI bot sitting on a, uh, on a lounge chair. And I want a blue uh, light going back and forth with a vertical, a, yeah, that's no horizontal. Almost had it going the wrong way. Horizontal blue light. I, I think that always looks kind of cool. And let's see what it comes up with. It's going to think, it's going to think, it's going to think. And we have our bar down there. It's just coming up. So I'm interested to see kind of what it comes up with. Okay, interesting. Uh, it came up with some with some weird stuff. Let's, we got to check this one out first. So right here, it's like a leg. It's like the the actual lounge chair is the bot. That's that's kind of crazy. It's got this weird leg here. So we're going to kind of just get rid of that. We're getting some. This looks like a person. Um, so that's not really what we want. So maybe by going so granular, it kind of got weird on us. This one, it uh, it's okay. I don't really care for it. So let, let's try to change the, the bot. So let's just say uh, uh, AI robot. Let's kind of zoom out and get super ungranular with this one. And as it comes up, and as... Um, all of those happen, and I put those in. They should be saving under elements. Oh, okay. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. We're getting some better looking bots. So this time, being a little less granular, that one's kind of cool. And then this one, this one's all right as well. So let me just type AI roll. Get rid of that. So let me just type in AI robot with a horizontal type, horizontal blue light on its face. See what we come up with here. And it's thinking, it's thinking, oh my goodness, it's even thinking some more. Oh, so it gave a uh, human face to it. I was kind of hoping for more of a robot look. Uh, so instead of on its face, uh, horizontal blue light as its face, maybe. Let's see what that does. Maybe I, maybe I just have to abort the blue light as well. So let's see. Oh, okay, it's getting kind of creepy now. Uh, but these are... Pretty cool. I want something a little less lifelike. So we have this one here. We have this guy. So AI robot. Uh, and let's do one for, for telling jokes. Let's see what it'll look like here. And as you can see, whatever we're thinking doesn't necessarily mean the AI software is thinking that. Oh, all right. 
we're, we're getting better. We're getting better. Um, and let's just say a robot then. Futuristic robot. We'll, we'll add the blue light next. I want to see what it'll just come up with, with futuristic robot at this point. Because uh, we got some pretty cool ideas. And we'll look and we'll see where they are under elements and where they keep. Hello. Now we're talking. This is what I was kind of looking, hoping for. That's cool. That one's pretty cool. And that's cool. Um, oh, they're all going to upload as we do it. So that's where they're being hit. So we go to upload. And here's all the robots we just had. So we don't lose them. Once you click on them, you don't lose them. The ones that I didn't click on are gone. So right here, we did not lose the bots. So this was kind of cool. Uh, and then what I love about this. So let's say we like, let's let's use this this guy right here, this one here. Um, get rid of this text. So we're just looking for the, uh, the bot itself. I just happened to put it on that canvas. Now you can go in and edit these as well. Like for this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and take out the backgrounds of these so I can put them over silly backgrounds. Maybe we'll have them at the beach one day. Uh, who knows where they'll be, uh, maybe a manufacturing plan another day. So you can go in and just use a background remover. It is a premium uh, part of your subscription. So if you have a premium subscription, you can do that. If you don't, you can go into like uh, Microsoft Word. So you could just get the uh, bot, get the picture going in Microsoft Word and get rid of the background there as well. doesn't do uh, as good a job as what it does in Canva. I prefer the Canva tools uh, because they just simply, boom, you're done. <laughs> it gets rid of the background and it does a super good job with it. Um, so that's how I kind of prefer using the uh, background remover in Canva because it does a fantastic job with it. So once the bot's in place, we're then going to have a competition between like Bard, ChatGPT, uh, MagicWrite, all the different generative AI uh, tech softwares out there that can uh, write jokes. So we're going to see who writes the better jokes. And we're going to see if I deliver it better than the bot delivers it. We're just going to use well said for the voice. Um, something tells me that I may lose, but I'm going to give it everything I have. So that's it for now. Canva is a powerful tool, and uh, this text-to-image, even though it's not perfect, we came up with some pretty good solutions. We noticed we had to kind of uh, iterate quite a bit with it. We At first, I was too far zoomed in. Then I was too far zoomed out. Then when I hit that nice uh, uh, Goldilocks spot where it was just right, it started giving me stuff that I was actually thinking about. So remember, it's important to iterate whenever you're using anything to do with AI. So iterate, iterate, iterate. So that's it for now. Have a fantastic time creating learning environments and play with different AI technologies such as this uh, text-to-image generator.